Hello, the Lord Nelly here with BuildYourArmy.com. Head on over to BuildYourArmy.com for your free trial in sales funnels, website builder, and automated email marketing, and online booking, all in one system. Free trial, keep your credit card in your wallet, specifically for businesses that don't want to be boring. The more taboo, but legal, the better. How to create effective landing pages. In your sales funnel, the landing page is step one after, if you're doing social media stuff, they've seen you there or your ad or whatever. The landing page is the first step on your actual website, on your domain that you own. It's the page your customer typically lands on or you're redirecting from your ads or your articles or your organic traffic to that page so that your user lands on that page. That's why it's called the landing page. The way to make that thing effective is to ask your customer for one thing. They should ask. Your customer should decide one thing, yes or no. That's it. Keep it simple. That is the best way to make it effective. Your goal is for them to take one action, and that is either provide you with an email or buy your product. I recommend provide you with their email is what you should be aiming for and in the email sequence you would then sell to them not on the site the site is let's get the email that is my opinion okay but you want to have a headline with curiosity that entices curiosity or uh, encourages curiosity or invokes curiosity whatever friggin buzzword you want to use numbers in that headline often work as well like you know uh how I made $30,000 in one month, you know, numbers, that kind of thing. The call to action is definitely the lead magnet. And it is what are you providing in exchange for that email address? Okay. Social proof with testimonials are usually a nice touch. And of course, you're designing with images, nice bright colors, one video, perhaps, um, and a form, which is the form that they're going to fill out in order to get that lead magnet to get access to that lead magnet then you want to test and track those analytics because you might want to split test your page one versus the other to see which one works best so you can put two pages against each other you could test one item at a time i would recommend you do one item at a time so let's say your your button is blue Maybe change it to red, see if you get more leads. Or if it's a pop-up, maybe a page. Or if it's a, a form inline inside the page or you have to click to get to the form. You can test and experiment with those kind of things. And you want to add tracking code from various sites like Facebook and Google so that you can then retarget to those people. So when they visit your site and you want to advertise to them, it's cheaper to advertise to someone who's already been on your site that you've tracked that they've been to your site than a cold person who's never seen your site. So even if you don't intend on doing this, put the code on because it's free. It'll build up and it'll start to track. And one day when you decide, you know what, I want to do a Facebook ad or I want to do a Google ad, you'll be happy that a year prior you set this up, even though you had no intention on doing that. If you want help with this kind of thing, I can walk you through it. I abolish all the tech fear. Buildyourarmy.com slash calendar book some time on my um, availability and we will chat via uh, zoom (laughs) one-on-one uh virtually and i can walk you through this in a half hour or an hour and go from there i am the lord nelly with buildyourarmy.com keep building and enjoy your life